Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to draw a um, anime girl and for this Just for fun. I'm gonna Basically just be drawing Juvia Just as an example. So yeah, let's get started So it's the start is basically just the same as um, you would draw a anime guy Which you can see in my previous video I'll have that linked down below, but you start off by drawing a, a rough circle and Then from that circle what I like to do Is Draw two Lines just Going down at a point. Kind of creating this little triangular shape down here. And so this is just creating the basic form of the face. And then, what I'm going to do is uh, draw a line dividing the face in half. And I'm going to make it a little curved since a head isn't exactly flat. And then, a little below halfway from the first circle we drew, I'm going to draw another curved, slightly curved line and one right a little below it so this is going to be where the eyes will go and then right at the bottom of where we drew the previous circle that is going to be the line for the nose and one more at the bottom for the lips. And then I'm gonna roughly sketch in two circles between these two lines here. Um, kind of halfway between these two for the ears. Okay, so and just for reference, sketching the neck. Okay, so, um, yeah. So, just so you guys can see it a little better, I'm just gonna start outlining the basic shape with a pen. So for girls, I like to make the chin a little, little rounded. Same with the jaw, just give it a little curve, not like making it too sharp. Okay, so that takes care of the face. So drawing in, I'm going to start with the nose because that always seems to be easiest when figuring out where to place everything else. And then the eyes, I try and get the eyebrows to be touching this top line here and the eyes to be between this so since um, I'm drawing Juvia here but also um, for girls the eyes are usually drawn bigger 
so that's what we're gonna do. Just right at the bottom, right at this line, that's where the bottom of the eye is going to be. For both of these. And you'll notice I'm kind of giving it, making it more curved, the eyes in general, and also adding these extra little curves up here just to mimic eyelashes. Also, yeah, so add a little more up here. And since this is Julia, a little down here. Alright. And I'm just drawing the eyes. And so now we're moving on to the mouth. So, like I said in my previous video, for the mouth, I generally just draw a straight line, a horizontal line, and then slightly curve up here around the edges, just to give it a smile. And if you want to, you can add a little curve at the bottom for the bottom lip. Okay, and so now we'll get started with the hair. So this is Juvia, so, um, yeah, kind of just drawing them at this angle here. purpose of this video and draw her without the hat so that is the basic shape and then for cur curly hair I'll do a tutorial on hair more in detail later but just kind of curve it Make little wavy lines. Doesn't have to be perfect, but and then the top of the head, the hair. You want it to not be on this line, but just a little above it, so it gives the hair a little more volume. Curve it to your liking. Okay, so now I'll just go ahead and outline this real quick. So when outlining, I like to do the hair first, just because that way any unwanted lines on the face, like for example, right here where the hair covers up the face, I don't have to worry about that. I could just so then now I don't actually have to outline this. Which you could do it the other way around too. Start with the eyes and just work around it. But I just feel this is easier because you can see it better. You have the hair outlined first. And as usual, I'll just add these little 
extra lines in there just to give it a little more detail. So normally, I do switch between a 0.3 and a 0.1 when um, outlining for the face and, and details. So the reason I'm not doing that right now for Juvia's eyes is because the outline for her eyes is always a little thicker just to make them pop. But I will switch to a point one. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, for just the nose and the mouth. And now I'll go ahead and erase this. All right, and um, also just, if you want to add a little extra detail. What I like to do just under the neck add this little little shadow area. So yeah this just adds a little extra a little bit of a shading just without color. Um, so yeah that's it. Thank you guys for watching and um, hope you like this video and if you want to see any specific tutorials on anything, hair, eyes, whatever, uh, feel free to leave a comment below letting me know and yeah, thanks. See you soon.